As COVID vaccine hubs open up and more and more people are getting their shots now, there is one topic many of you might have questions about, and that's what rights employees have because not everyone wants to get the shot. According to ABC News, a majority of small businesses are not requiring their employees to be tested for coronavirus or to get the vaccine, but bigger employers, that might be a whole different story. Uh, joining us to talk more about this this afternoon is attorney Quentin Brogdon. Uh, thanks for being with us today. Really appreciate it. Good afternoon, Jason. How are you? Doing well. Uh, thanks for uh, you know enlightening us on this subject because this is something that obviously is going to be facing a lot of people. We've had so many people working from home uh, or they're in the office, but they haven't been able to get a vaccine yet, but soon they may be able to or they may be required to head back into the office. Can employers actually require workers to get a COVID vaccine? Well, under the OSHA regulations, employers have a duty to provide a safe workplace for their employees. The EEOC issued some guidance in December that said vaccinations are not prohibited medical examinations. Under the regulations, you can only give medical examinations to your employees under certain circumstances. And the EEOC says a vaccination is not that. The EEOC also issued some other guidance that said testing, although it is a medical examination, because we're in this pandemic, we're going to allow employers to test their employees for COVID before allowing them to show up to work. Now, the ability of employers to test and infringe upon the rights of their employees is not unlimited. Under a federal law called Title VII, if the employees have sincerely held religious beliefs or under the ADA, the Americans with Disabilities Act, if the employees have a disability that makes them more susceptible to the bad side effects of the vaccine, then the employers have to make reasonable accommodations and that might include allowing an employee to work from home, for example. Okay, so just to be clear there, uh, other than people who, who might have a disability where they might have a bad interaction with a vaccine or someone who has uh, certain religious beliefs, most people uh, who are in the office uh, will be held to this. If their employer says they have to get the shot, they have to get the shot. My question is, what if you refuse there? Is that considered a fireable offense? Jason, I know that many of, of your viewers may not want to hear this, but employers have the ability to require a vaccination, uh, even for a white collar worker, but particularly if the worker is working in a high risk category, such as working in a hospital or a nursing home, clearly based on the guidance, employers have the ability to require their employees to have the vaccination. And if they don't, they can be terminated. I know that many of your viewers don't want to hear that. Does not does that not mean that a particular employee may have a legal claim based on that? It's possible, but if an employee has a sincerely held religious belief or a disability that makes them more susceptible to the bad effects of a vaccination, then they need to raise that and, and clarify that so they're building a record later so that they can per perhaps pursue legal action. And again, we're, we're asking these questions and, and getting them answered today because we know that there is a, a certain segment uh, who, you know, they, they feel uneasy about getting this vaccine or they don't want to get the vaccine uh, and certainly don't want it to be required of them. We know that quite a few people do want to get the vaccine very badly and are just waiting for their number to be called here. Last thing I have for you is, is there a place, because I know that we never get to everyone's questions with something like this, where is a good place for, for viewers that, that they can go to find more info on this? Do you know of one? Well, I would go to the CDC website. I would go to the EEOC. The EEOC uh, website has clarifying frequently asked questions that clarify the rights of employers and employees in these types of circumstances. And those are the places I would go as a first stop, whether I was an employer or an employee to try and find answers to these very tricky questions, Jason. All right, Attorney Quentin Brogdon, thanks for taking the time uh, today and lending your expertise here, appreciate it. Today and lending your expertise here. Thank you and stay safe, Jason. You too, thanks.